Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use performance reports uh, in MySQL Workbench. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and open uh, MySQL Workbench uh, and here uh, connect to any of the, uh, the server. In my case, I'm going to connect to the MySQL server that's installed on the Linux box. Uh, then to see the reports, uh, we'll be going to the server tab on top of it and then we will uh, navigate to the performance reports. Uh, here uh, you can see that the reports are category categorized in multiple uh, tabs or, or categories or subcategories uh, you can see memory use you can see hotspots uh, of io high cost uh, sql statements uh, uh, database schema st statistics uh, and the weight uh, even uh, times uh, and you have in db statistics uh, and user uh, resource uh, user okay so let's uh, start with uh, some of the common question let's say if uh, we would like to see okay which user uh, is uh, been uh, has been running a lot of queries uh, so you can see that uh, we have a dba user and uh, these are the number of statements uh, this user has executed uh, the time taken uh, by the statements and all that so you can see a lot more information here for a user um, that's good information if you want to see io stats uh, you can also provide you that which user uh, is uh, by user you can see the io stats um, okay right here so we have background processes running and then we have dba user and then we have root user as well so you can see information from him total i was uh, time uh, total time in uh, um, and uh, you have a max time so you can say different information i cannot really go and explain each of the column here but uh, my goal is to kind of tell you like from these performance reports you can grab the, a lot of information and once you know about these uh, uh, performance report you can always go there and start looking for the things uh, okay let's uh, see if uh, we would like to know uh, about uh, the schema or the uh, or the tables uh, in the databases uh, so if we would like to see let's say we will uh, uh, go overview and uh, you sc you can see the schema object overview that tells you like okay what is the schema uh, here and um, object type and uh, counts so you can see the object uh, num number of uh, tables or store procedures or whatever you have there uh, you can uh, see from uh, there okay uh, if you want to go further on the indexes uh, it, it will provide you information on the indexes if there are indexes or not uh, you have a table um, schema table statistics uh, so a lot of information about the uh, schema tables uh, row fetched uh, time fetch and all the row inserted uh, updated deleted and all that so there is a lot more information uh, you can select from a schema uh, stat, uh, what you call the database schema statistics um, also tables with the full table scans if you want to see which tables uh, are being used a lot and uh, they are done um, table scans so you might want to create uh, the indexes on them um, unused indexes uh, so you can have that information okay so further uh, if we want to see high uh, cost uh, sql statements uh, so we want to do uh, statement analysis we can take a look like which queries took a lot of time how many time uh, the query did executed and all that so you can see those uh, all the information uh, with the with sorting if you want to sort it uh, uh, like okay you have used the uh, uh, queries with sorting uh, probably that's what it will uh, show you a uh, list all normalized statements that have been done uh, sorts so uh, access in the following uh, priority order sort merge uh, passes sort uh, scans and sort rows uh, so that those queries are there uh, show me the queries which are uh, doing a lot of table scans okay so you can see those uh, if you would like to see uh, hard, um, let's say top uh, uh, IO activity report so you can see that as well okay these are our data file so this is the uh, databases uh, uh, there are different uh, databases files you can see that this employee database uh, so this is the department table so you can see that uh, which uh, data file or which uh, uh, tables or uh, you know a lot of uh, IOs so a lot of information is uh, there so you want to see io time by user threads uh, so you can see that as well so right here that's what we've been using dba and uh, all that so now if you want to see memory you can uh, um, see the memory by user top uh, memory by user so you can see that which uh, uh, users are using a lot of memory here uh, dba is in the middle and that's uh, what we are using uh, now I will suggest uh, go through each of that uh, and uh, just uh, you know kind of uh, take a look on this information so let's say uh, 
your total memory your memory by event um, take a look like what what information makes sense to you and what information you need uh, when you are doing an analysis or when you're trying to figure out the problem so um, most of the time uh, we have cpu memory uh, io uh, and all those uh, different issues and uh, sometimes we have a user like which users are running a lot of uh, queries and all that uh, so we, we we can use these performance rec reports uh, um, to see that information so that really helps thanks very much for watching this video i hope this will help uh, 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 to be honest with you this is a quick overview this is not a detail like okay how to uh, find this uh, query that run this many time my goal was to show you okay there are performance reports and uh, you can use uh, all those different features from the performance report uh, to dig into the problems and find the solutions for uh, your queries uh, such as slow running queries uh, high cpu usage high memory usage queries and all that thanks very much and i will see you guys in next video